Hi friends, do you know who that is? You're right, it is the rainbow fish, right? It's from our book uh, by Marcus Pfister, The Rainbow Fish. Anyway, we've been talking about colorful fish today, so I thought it would be fun to do an art project based on that book. Okay, here's some of the things that you're gonna need. I've got some drawing paper, I've got some color, color paper, I got a little sheet of aluminum foil, a glue stick, and Miss Justine's kind of old school. I got my Crayolas. We'll use those maybe for coloring later. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so first of all, what I'm gonna do, oh boy, I'm gonna do my best, but I'm gonna try and draw a fish. Here, let's see, I'll start maybe with the body. It's maybe a big body like that. And then here will be his, like, his tail fin, and maybe his dorsal fin. He's got Maybe, I think he's got a couple more fins down here. We'll give him a couple. Maybe he's got one back here too. Okay, and I don't know, maybe I'll give him a face. I think the rainbow fish had these big, wonderful lips. So we'll give him big, wonderful lips. Well, he looks a little sad, but that's okay. And we'll give him a big eye. Color in that eye. Okay, my fish looks something like this. I wonder what your fish is gonna look like. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put some scales on this fish. And what I wanted to do is, you know, I didn't feel like using my scissors today, so I'm gonna put those away. And we're gonna use our fingers for tearing. We're gonna tear these little pieces of colorful paper. Let's put our uh, aluminum off to the side for now. So what we're gonna do is with our fish, I'm gonna have some glue. I got this kind of glue so you can see um, how I use my glue. It comes out in a kind of a color. It's a purple color and then it dries clear. But friends, do I, do I t twist my glue stick all the way up? No, I don't need it. I just need just a very little, little bit. And I'm actually gonna use just a little bit for now and I'll keep adding more glue as we go. Okay, so we'll do that. I'm gonna start with maybe this blue color and I'm just gonna tear some little bits. Maybe, oh, maybe I'll get some green. Just all the different colors. And I'm just gonna start kind of layering those like a scale would be on the fish. And then here's some pink. Oh, I like these colors. Purple. Oh, maybe I'll go back to my blue. And you can do it in whatever order you want. You know, I might even put two blues next to each other. That's okay, whatever you like to do. So here we go. A little more pink. And now, looks like I ran out of glue. I'm gonna add glue to the next little section. Right, and I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna kind of keep filling in my fish with all these colorful different scales, okay? There we go, so some green. Yeah, I'll put some green up here. Some green in different spots. Maybe some more blue. A little blue down here. How about purple? I don't have a lot of purple in here yet. Okay, let's get some purple going. Purple. Oh, looks like I'm running out of spots. Okay, let's put a little more glue, right? Notice how I'm just sort of gluing as I go, right? Okay, let's see, a little more pink. Ooh, that's a big scale, that's okay. A little more purple, a little more blue, and I'm just tearing up little pieces. Maybe if you wanna make them a little bit smaller, you can too. Oh, we need some green. A little bit of green. And then again, I'm gonna go ahead and keep adding my glue, fill in all those spots. Okay, I'm gonna keep tearing. Let's go back to some more pink. And mine are kind of layering over, that's fine. Let's see, a little more, a little more green. There we go, some green. I'll put some green up there, okay. How about some purple right there? Okay, let's see, I think we're almost good. Okay, so now friends, what we're gonna do is keep, keep our scraps for use and for another time, right? You know me, I like to keep all that stuff. Um, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna also take our aluminum foil, and if you'll notice on your aluminum foil, one side is a little bit matte, and the other side is really super shiny. I'm gonna use the shiny side up. And what I'm gonna do is all of those spots that I still see that kind of have white in there, I'm just gonna kind of put some glue in all those little spots, just wherever I see. Maybe I didn't do cover it all the way up. I'm just gonna put, oh, there's a little spot right there. Oh, one down here too, right? And what I'm gonna do, the same thing, just like tearing the, the colorful paper, I'm 
also going to do that with my aluminum. Just kind of tear it off. Add little shiny scales. Remember in the story when, uh, when the rainbow fish didn't share his shiny, his shiny parts with his friends and then he didn't have any friends and then he realized, oh, maybe we do when we do share our shiny, shiniest parts, right? It makes others happy and making others happy can help us to feel happy too. There we go, I'm gonna do one more little scale. Ha, there we go. My, my, my fish looks a little something like that. And now I think because he has a rainbow fish, I kinda wanna give him a little more color. So I'm just gonna use my crayon box here I might use, oh, let's see, this is a pretty blue. I might use this blue for his face. And friends, the way that I'm gonna color is I'm kind of doing like a shading. So I kind of start near, near the lines and then I kind of just rub back and forth and I'm doing like a shading, I have a back and forth motion. I'm being real careful when I get near any of those lines, right? That's how I practice staying inside the lines. And I'm just shading, oops, all right? There's another spot here. See how I'm trying to be careful along those lines? Yeah, and then I could just color it in. Look, look at that. Yep. Right, this is the kind of technique that I like to do for coloring. There we go. Get a little close to the lines. Remember, go, go slow when you get close to those lines. There we go. And color that in and shade. Shading, 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 oops, there we go. Let's see, maybe I'll want to give him big orange lips. Maybe he needs to be smiling a little. Let's give him a little smile, there we go. I'm gonna color him, and notice I'm just kind of making those small little shading motions, that little back and forth, just going real slow when I get close to those lines, okay? Hmm, let's see, how about a pink dorsal fin? And again, going slow when I'm near those lines. And look what happens when I'm not near those lines. I can go nice and big and fast, right? But then I do it slow when I'm near those lines. There we go. I like coloring. I like coloring with you guys. It's pretty fun. Sometimes we can use markers or colored pencils. Let's see. Oh, look, now I can go fast because I colored in all those little spots. There we go. Hmm, what other color should I use? How about, ooh, this is a pretty green. I'm gonna color these fins down here green. Going nice and slow when I'm near the, near the lines. Okay, alrighty. Color, 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 oopsie. Paper's kind of bent. Let's see, what other color? Oh, yellow, maybe I like that color. Nice and easy, near the lines, coloring kind of around, and then shading it all in. And finally, I'll pick, ooh, let's see. That's what I like about my Crayolas. I have lots of choices. Ooh, I'll do this purple. Okay, I'm gonna kind of go slow near the lines. Oh boy. And then look what I can do when I have this big open space. I can color, make these big, big, broad, fast strokes. Oh, slow down, I'm near the lines again. There we go. Oh, all the way up there. And then I can go big colors, big, big strokes near the lines again. Oh, let's see. Okay, I'm almost done. There we go. I think I colored in. He looks pretty colorful to me. I think he's worthy to be called a rainbow fish. But before I finish, friend, very, very important. Get my pen out. It's very important, right? Your work is so special that we want to make sure that we know that it's yours. So. I'm gonna put a big J for Miss Justine. I wonder what you'll put for yours. Alrighty, my friends. I think we're done here. I can't wait to see you again. And you can tell me all about your rainbow fish when we see each other, okay? Bye for now. See ya.